that whatever the big pieces through his teeth. <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't. I'd spit out the big pieces. Mm. So, but we, we did have a lot of fun. We used to play. Carl and I have been playing together for 51 years now. <laughs> it's really strange seeing Carl there because now I'm in the Florida Keys. This is the Florida Keys, baby. Um, Hand-fed sharks at the aquarium encounters in Marathon. Uh, this we're at mile marker uh, 103. That's the uh, children's uh, school right there. Are there markers? Right yeah, they're on the side of the road. Okay. Where do they look? Point one out. The little little green marker right here. Uh, they're little, you know, like it's a green marker with a number on it. Yeah. I'll show it to you when we get there. So now we're we're on we're in the fly. We're going actually going to Napa Auto Parts to get an alcohol-based pen that you can't buy anywhere in New York because I just came from New York four days ago. Carl took me on an all-expense, all-paid trip from New York to Florida and then down to the Keys, and which was very nice of him, and uh, I appreciate that. And it was an amazing thing. Good. There's the Amore Dive Center, and uh, that's where we're going, right close to where we're going. We're going to the Marriott Hotel at 103, and here's the Caribbean Club. That's Jimmy Johnson, the football player's Big Chill, and next to the Caribbean Club. We're not going there. I don't really care to go to the, well, the Caribbean Club. Uh, mostly for people, uh, it's a big drinking. It's a, like a, it's a, it's a drinking event every day from every day all day, every day all day, every day, and everybody that drinks all day every day starts their day off at the Caribbean Club and works their way through the day at the Caribbean Club and then ends their day at the Caribbean Club. And some of them sleep at the Caribbean Club. Not my cup of tea. So, right now we're gonna go to Napa and get that alcohol-based pen and see my friend Richard, who uh, has been my friend since 1997, actually. I don't know how much battery we have left in here. Uh, I got four batteries. I, I charged them all up last night. Let's see, who else do you want to talk about? Did I get, did I take my charger? I don't know if I packed up my charger. I had it plugged into the lamp. I bet you I left it there. I didn't see it, but I... Yeah, well, I probably took your it. Your charger was hooked up to your phone. Yeah, last night. I yeah. didn't charge it this Yeah, night. so you put the charger away because the phone, I don't, I don't remember seeing it. Okay. I think. But I mean, anyway, I got one. I got one. They're, they're like, yeah, all right. Um, I took my charger out and I didn't see one of yours. Yeah. So who else did we know when we were kids that was a character? Joey Puma. Joey Puma. Joe Cool. Joe Cool. The skinniest, scrawniest bastard you ever seen in your life, and he would walk around with his chest puffed out. He only weighed about 130 pounds, and he thought he was so tough. He actually wasn't, but uh, he was more cool than tough. More cool than tough. He thought yeah. he was like so cool. Yeah. But the girls did like him. He did get a lot of a lot of women. Yeah, the girls liked him when he was young, right. but then when he got older, he became a heroin addict, and <coughs> they didn't like him so much then. Yeah. So. But he died when he was in his early 30s or late 20s of AIDS from either either having sex or needles. I don't know. I, I didn't stay with him by that time. I just remember hearing that he was dying. You want to go visit Joey? He's dying. And I'm going, no, that's okay. Did you? No, I, I, I hadn't seen him since we were kids. Yeah, I never kept in touch with any any of those people. You know, once, once I stopped hanging out in town, I kind of wrote them off. I didn't really didn't really want to have anything to do with them much after that yeah carl disappeared he went he went i went straight <laughs> straight yeah. straight no i mean like because when we were kids everybody smoked pot and drank every day and we all went to school but 
some people continued along that route like Eddie. Eddie is maybe he spent I don't know from when we were children maybe 10 days straight I don't know maybe maybe more than that probably more than that but almost, Eddie had to get high every day there was no way Eddie could get around getting high every day yeah that's true but he had some skills he used to work on his lathe and he was a good metal worker oh uh, the Haynes lathe the Haynes lathe <laughs> I got lost in Eddie's house one day. <laughs> that was a trip that day. That was a with trip. The little, with the little shavings, we'd pick them up and like, wow, look at that. It was, they were colored, right? Yeah, colored. Met, multicolored. Multicolored metal shavings. Metal shavings. That was a trip. That day was a trip. That was the day we went to Bristol Avenue and Carl, Carl and I stood underneath the street sign. How long? <laughs> Quite a while. And the sign was bent and Mike said, look, the sign's bent. And I said, no, Mike, the sign's not bent. You're bent. And he was like, no, no, Carl, the sign. And I'd be like, no, Mike, the sign is straight. You're bent. The sign is straight. <laughs> and he almost believed me. I almost had him believe in me. As a matter of fact, he did believe me. Up until just recently, I told him I was messing with his head, and so now he knows the sign was really bent. <laughs> from, from 40 years, 45 years 45 ago. 45 years ago. What about after that, when we went into the diner? Oh, yeah, and I saw skeletons in people's hands. That was, uh, that was a trip. He walks over, there's a couple of black guys sitting at the diner, and he's looking at their hands, and I'm going, Carl, oh, come, on, come on back here, come on. Come on back here. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa. Uh, just up, remember that bank I told you about? Go ahead, up a little further. Well, uh, yeah, up up further, okay. <laughs> I just want to run in there and give her a hug. My bank, my bank uh, lady. It's it's close to here. So the, there's a black guy sitting down at the diner, and he walks over to the black guy's hand. And he's just going, no, no, yeah, 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 that's it, right? I'll, I'll wait here in the park. Okay. Yeah, you can. Okay. You just cross over. All right. So I'm going to go run into a bank and say hello to one of my friends. So I'm going to tune up. All right. So he walks over to this black guy and he starts going like this to the black guy's hand. And he's. And, and the black guy is looking at him. Like, you know, he wasn't angry or anything like that. I mean, he just never had a white man walk up and caress his hand before. He was, <laughs> he was more surprised than anything else. And uh, Carl could see the man's skeleton, and I had to look good. Make a, you could make a right over here. You could even go into... Yeah, yeah right here is a good place. Well, yeah. Right so, um, the black guy just... He, and I'm going to the black guy. I don't, he's okay. He's like a little bit me mentally, you know incapacitated right now and uh that was it that was the right now uh, i'm gonna have to shut this off so that was part of our childhood we'll give you another another today is march 26th right mm -hmm. and always remember no 25th mike fazio was always number one in my book always number one my number one friend <laughs> i'm ping i'm ping perming i'm ping i'm ping perming who was number one? Mike was number one friend.